Hello everyone, Ken here, back with another video for you. As many of you may or may not know, I recently produced a course in collaboration with 365 Data Science. The course is called How to Start a Career in Data Science, and it goes through pretty much all you need to know about building a resume, creating a data science portfolio, networking, and navigating the data science and data analyst interview process. I worked really hard on this, and I think it's a quality offering, but I recognize that this product is not for everyone. I also want to make it clear that paid courses aren't always the best place to learn information. I personally had mixed feelings about producing a course in the first place, and I wanted to take some time to talk more broadly about why someone like myself would create a course, who courses generally make sense for, and why my specific course may or may not be a good fit for you. So why would someone like myself create a course in the first place? First, I love YouTube. It's the main platform that I create content on and it's the main place I'll continue to create content in the future. But unfortunately, I have limited capabilities when it comes to my time and also my editing ability. With my full-time job, it's very hard for me to justify a big structured undertaking without some additional help. Working with 365 Data Science allowed me to produce a structured body of work that I was really proud of and I also thought would provide a lot of value. Second, I won't lie, the added financial security of a paid course was a major factor in me creating it. I'd like to continue creating as much YouTube content as possible, but there's an opportunity cost again to my time. Getting some additional income coming in really frees me up to invest further in my channel. For example, I think the new camera and microphone that I purchased recently hopefully really improved the experience for most of you. Maybe one day I'll even be able to hire an editor, which is kind of a dream of mine. I have a couple pretty time intensive projects coming up in the pipeline for the channel, and this course really facilitated the production of them. I don't really tell many people this, I guess I'm telling everyone now, but one day I'd really like to have the option of producing YouTube content full time, and the creation of this course was a huge step towards that goal. I also wanna note that I'm not in the business of robbing anyone. I hope that anything that I produce creates more value for the consumer than what it costs them in the first place. On 365 Data Science, you can get access to my course and all of the other data science courses they produce for less than $30 per month. And on Udemy, this course frequently is on sale for less than $20. Again, I think that this is affordable for almost anyone. And if it's not, try and reach out to me. I'll see what I can do. Don't tell Udemy I said this, but I recommend waiting till the course is on sale to purchase it if you find that it would be a good fit for you. Next, I'd like to talk a bit more about online courses in general. I think there are a few things to consider before purchasing one. First, when it comes to these, I think you should be very wary of any guarantees that are out there. No course will land you a job. No course will make you into a data scientist without you having to do most of the heavy lifting. I believe that the vast majority of the courses out there are actually very good, but you're going to be the one that's doing the work. Again, these courses won't get you a job, but most of them will give you the tools to shape your own destiny here. When it comes to courses, it's really important to understand the value that they provide. I'd say that all of the information in any of these courses is probably online already for free. While it's out there, it's extremely disorganized and in a bunch of different sources. A course consolidates this information and hopefully breaks it into a teachable format. For me, one of the most important things is the teaching style of the online course. Is it more text-based? Is it more video-based? Other things like, are there practice exercises that'll help me? Is the instructor engaging and clear? These are all relevant when picking one of these up. If you don't like hearing me speak, that's probably a good sign not to purchase my course. <laughs> Again, you can probably find 99% of the information in my course across different videos, platforms, etc. But I don't think there are too many platforms out there that weave it all together into a nice polished package like I have. When going into a course, I also think it's important to set clear expectations about what you'd like to get out of it. You should think about how you want to apply what you've learned going forward. For example, 
you may want to take a course to get a clear foundation of the statistics concepts for data science. How do you plan to use this afterwards? What can you do to supplement this knowledge so that it gets ingrained even further? I think it's really easy to go down the rabbit hole of collecting course certificates. And setting an intention with your learning can help you to identify the unique value that the courses are creating for you. I've touched on this a couple times now, but most information is online for free. I made a video a while ago about my favorite free resources to learn data science, and I'll link that above and below. If you're short on money, you have plenty of options if you're willing to invest the time. Again, I produce a huge amount of free information on my channel that points to a lot of the same content that I highlight in the course. Please don't think that paid courses are your only option for learning data science. Most of these courses also have a free refund policy after around 30 days. If you watch a few videos and don't think that it's really up your alley, save your money and find one that resonates with you more. Now let's talk about why my course may or may not be a good fit for you. First, you definitely should not buy my course if you can't afford it. You should invest your time into learning and not your money if you're in this position. Second, if you don't like how I speak, if you don't like my teaching style, etc., you probably shouldn't purchase this course. It's not a great idea for you. It's literally me talking for four hours, so you'd probably rather bang your head against a desk than listen to this if you can't stand the sound of my voice. Third, if you're learning data science for your personal interests and aren't interested in pursuing it as a career. This is a totally fine path to take and I love seeing people who are genuinely interested in the field, but that just isn't a good match with the course content. My course is pretty much specifically designed for helping you get a job. On the other hand, I think this course would be great for the following groups of people. One, if you're looking to break into the data science career path. Again, I won't make any guarantees, but I believe that following the steps in my course can at least increase your chances of getting a data science or data analyst job. Second, if you're willing to put in the effort. Part of getting a job is building a portfolio, building a resume, pretty time intensive tasks. It takes a tremendous amount of work to get one of these positions. If you're not prepared to do the work, you could be wasting your time here. Third, if you just really like me and you want to listen to me talk for long periods of time, uh, you should probably buy it because you get a lot of that. <laughs> I'm kidding. But in all seriousness, I made this course with the main intention of helping people break into this field that I love. I had a blast producing it and I'm really proud of the end product that I have. I also couldn't be happier with the support that 365 Data Science provided me. It would not have been possible without them. If you feel like this course would be a good fit for you, your interests, and your goals, you can get access to it and other courses on 365datascience.com. I provided a discount link below. If you're just interested in my course, you can purchase it on Udemy. Also, a link is provided below. As usual, thank you so much for watching and good luck on your data science journey.